Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to show you guys an awesome piece of free open source software that I use all the time when I'm switching between Linux distros or installing new operating systems on my various computers. This software is called Ventoy and it's basically a bootloader for a USB. Ventoy is great because it allows you to flash one USB with the Ventoy software and then all you have to do is place the ISO file of the operating system that you want to use in the Ventoy folder on the USB and that's it. You don't need to flash it each time with Belina Etchi, you don't need to reformat your drive each time you want to install a new OS. All you need to do is just put the file in the Ventoy folder, plug it into your system, and you're good to go. You'll be presented with a lovely graphical menu where you can select the operating system that you want to install, hit enter, and away you go. It's as easy as that. To install Ventoy, all you need is an internet connection, a web browser, and a USB drive. It's important that there's nothing critical on the USB drive, as when you install the Ventoy application, it's going to wipe any data that was previously on it. The size of the drive doesn't matter too much, although I would recommend at least 16 gigabytes. Basically, the more storage that you have, the more operating systems you can have on the same drive, and this saves even more time instead of having to go back and change out the operating systems when your drive is full. The Ventoy USB that I use all the time is only 16 gigabytes, which is a little bit frustrating when I want to have lots of operating systems on the same drive. I need to go into File Explorer and swap them out. So I would recommend at least 32 gigabytes, but this will change depending on how many operating systems you want to have on the same drive. Let's get started. So to install Ventoy, you're just going to need to head to any web browser and just search Ventoy. From here, we're just going to head to the Downloads tab at the top of the page and we've got some options here so we're just going to choose the windows.zip file so we'll just hit the download link there and it'll just bring us to this github page here so we're just going to scroll down and in the assets section here we're just going to choose windows zip i'm just going to put this in my downloads folder and we'll go save so once that's installed we're just going to unzip that file so i'll just go to my downloads here just right click on the file extract all and we'll just put it back in the downloads so we go, now we can just open the file here, open that one, and we're just going to go down here and open the Ventoy 2 disk application. So this is our Ventoy setup wizard. We're just going to choose the USB drive that we're going to install Ventoy on. As I mentioned earlier, the more gigabytes the better, but it doesn't really matter too much. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a 32 gigabyte USB. So we're just going to select that on here. This is the only drive that I've got here, but it's really important that you choose the drive that you want to use for this and not the wrong one accidentally. So if you've got multiple USBs plugged into your computer, it's probably a good idea to remove the ones that you're not going to be installing Ventoy on, just so that you don't accidentally go formatting the drive and deleting all of your data. After we've selected our drive, we're just gonna hit install. It's super simple. We've got a little message here just about what I said earlier with the data loss. We're just gonna hit yes. And there's a double check there and it's just installing. So we go, that was super easy, super fast. So Ventoy is now installed on that USB. So if you just head to your file explorer here and you'll see it's been renamed as Ventoy. So we're just gonna open that one. And here you go, so it's just an empty file at the moment. Uh, if you're wondering how this works, if you have a look at the partitions on that USB, so you can see that we've got the 31.97 gigabytes here that is the space where you can put your operating system ISO files and then there's a little partition here that actually runs Ventoy so you don't see that you don't need to do anything with that that's fine that's just how it works um, so say for example I wanted to add what do we have on we've got the Linux Mint ISO file here so say I wanted to add this to my Ventoy drive all I need to do is click it just drag it into there so there we go now we have Linux Mint in our Ventoy installation USB here Okay, so we're just going to add another ISO file to the Ventoy drive. So we've just got the Debian disk image file here. So I'm just going to drag this over, put that in there as well. It's just going to copy over and we've got those two there now. Um, so now I'm just going to reboot the system. And this is actually my dual boot system where I'm running Linux Mint alongside Windows with the refined boot manager that gives us a nice graphical way to choose which drive we want when we start up. If you want to learn how you can install Linux Mint alongside Windows, I've done a video on that. I'll put the card up the top there. Uh, we've also done a video on installing this refined boot manager here that you can see it's like a lovely graphical way that you can choose the operating system that you want to use when you start up. 
I've done a video on that as well. The link will be in the description for both of those ones. So here we are in our Refine Boot Manager. And as you can see, there's some other options other than what we had earlier, which was just Windows and Linux Mint. So if you are using Refine, you'll see some other options come up here alongside what's already on your drive. If you're not using Refine, I'll put the timestamp to that in the description. I'll go over that. Uh, we'll just talk about this first. So there'll be two options here. There might be a third, but you want to select the one that says EFI slash boot slash grub dot EFI. So we're just going to select this one here, we'll just hit enter on that. Uh, and here's the Ventoy interface, so as you can see it's super easy. We can just select the ISO file that we want to flash onto the system. Just select it with the arrow keys and just hit enter there. And it will boot into that installer and then you can install the system from there. So unfortunately I can't show you guys installing another operating system using Ventoy just because for some reason it's not going to let me on my virtual machine here when I try to install it I just get an error message that loops. But I have tested this on my laptop that's currently running Refined along with Windows 10, Linux Mint and Debian and it works fine. So I just plug in the USB, I select that boot option that I just showed you guys, it'll launch into Ventoy and I can just install the operating system as normal from there. Just for some reason, there's some sort of incompatibility with the virtual machine that stops this from working, but it'll be just fine on a laptop or anything else that's not running as a virtualized device. So if you're not using Refined as a boot manager and you're just running Windows on your machine and you'd like to install another operating system using Ventoy, um, if you just plug the USB in and then turn on the computer, it should hopefully recognize that Ventoy is actually an installer. Um, sometimes it'll skip over it and launch straight into Windows. So, so if that happens, you just need to go into the UEFI of your computer. So this will be a different key that you need to press on startup depending on the motherboard. So one of the easiest ways to find out is just to do a quick search online, either for your motherboard model or maybe a laptop model, and then just search UEFI key. So as your computer's turning on, as you get that splash screen that says maybe the brand of the motherboard or the computer or something like that, you just need to be pressing that key repeatedly until you get into the menu. Usually it's the delete key or F12. Mine happens to be escape. Sometimes it's a combination of maybe like escape and F2. It just depends on the motherboard. So once you're in there, you need to look for an option that says something like boot manager or boot order or something like that. My one's here. Uh, you can see it just says boot manager there. So I'm just going to press enter on that. And you probably won't have as many options as this, but you just need to find the USB. So you'll probably have Windows Boot Manager if you're running Windows. There might be another couple of recovery options there, um, but you should see your USB. So there's my one there. It says verbatim store and go because that's the brand and model of the USB. If you have like a SanDisk USB or something like that, it'll probably just have the brand. So you just hit enter on that and that will launch you straight into the Ventor USB. And then from there, you can just go through, select the operating system that you want to install. Just hit enter and it will launch into the installer for that operating system. And then you can just go through your installation as normal. So I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you could consider liking and subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. As you can see, Ventoy is an awesome tool for people who like to switch distributions or install a lot of new operating systems a lot. It just saves a lot of time and it's much easier than having to flash a USB every time you want to install an operating system. Please consider watching my other videos about installing Linux Mint alongside Windows so you can run both at the same time and installing the Refined Boot Manager that I spoke about earlier. If you've got any questions, just leave them down in the comments and I'll answer them all. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.